What's going on? This your main man, Mel, coming at you from voicemail, Get Empowered 3000. You know the scope. I just wanted to talk to you for a brief moment on this night of the uh, verdict coming out on the Trayvon Martin case. Very sad situation there. Blessings out to the Martin family and all of his loved ones. Um, words can't even express what I know you all are dealing with. I have three sons of my own and I can't imagine any of them going through any of this. I had two nephews that are, you know, in that same age range as Trayvon Martin. And for something like this to happen, I, like I said, words can't even express what I know you all must be feeling. So blessings out to all of you. Excuse me. With that said, I want to address our people. What are we going to do is the question. Now, usually, our usual reactions is we want to tear some shit up because justice wasn't served. I'm going to tell you right now, that has been done. We've been there. We've done that. And still the same results. Ain't nothing changed. There's got to be a major difference made after this. This can't be for nothing, man. I mean, this kid died. And this was a good kid, is the thing. He's not the only one. Let's not get it twisted. This is happening across America. I guarantee you right now, somebody is probably going through a similar situation. So what I'm saying is is we got to get our people in a whole different mindset man we got to get uplifted to the point of we don't we don't allow ourselves to be just looked at in the fast in the in the way that we're looked at to be treated the way we're treated and it's it comes from a respect factor, you know. I'm not ever saying that this governmental system or America is gonna give us the respect or you know just do of what's due to us as a people. What I'm saying to you is we have to just continue to value ourselves more because our actions after this verdict are gonna set forth some very real things that I'm sure most of us are not even aware of. I'm sure most of us don't have an inkling of, of idea of what the true nature of publicizing this trial, the true nature of all of the racial things that the media chooses to publicize. Now, because then, like I said, there's murders happening on use daily. There's murders happening everywhere daily and these things may have an article this big in the paper or may not even be televised or publicized at all. But I'm going to tell you right now, we got to get a different mindset in dealing with these things. I'm not saying that we can do something to ever erase the uh, racial inequalities that go on the way that we're viewed on that from them. What I'm saying is we have to value ourselves. On it. The view, how we're viewed, really don't even matter because it seems to be that that's set in stone on how we're going to be looked at from from coming up soon as we are out of Pee Wee Leagues, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a thug mentality and even the best kids. So that's set for it. That's what America has pegged us as. That's what they're going to look at us as. What I'm saying is we have to value ourselves as bigger. Like what's going to come off of this trial is going to be murder. There's going to be probably some, some rioting, some tearing up of some things, like I said, in our own neighborhoods. In our own neighborhoods, this will be done. And it doesn't do anything but devalue us as a people more. We this this young boy along with those that die daily, you know, all the way back to your Emmett Till type situations. They they are martyrs for us to uprise. They are those that lay in that in that past in that path of the, of the past 
that died for a reason for us to make a difference. And I'm not saying that they, you know, that they had to die for us to get any insight. What I'm saying is because they had those, the things that have happened, we have to uprise from those. We have to get as much positivity as we can from these situations. Let's say, because we, we go out and do the expected, rioting, this, that, no, they got military, they got police force ready for that, and better believe they got a bigger plan ready for that. This, to me, is to somewhat incite a race war, along with all the things you got going on with your Paula Deans and all of these publicized things on racist activity happening like it's some big surprise that these things still go on like it's a big shock that we still live in this world in 2013 these things are going on as if it's in the 60s or something you know what i'm saying so the change is going to have to come from us to uprise to a level to where we are untouchable by that nonsense and that's only only going to come from us building and helping each other, building and helping each other uprise. Because the one thing that puts us in that, another thing that puts us in that position for them to look at us as hoodlums, as thugs, we killing each other. At such a productive rate, they really have dropped off on the job of what they have to do. We killing each other so much, it's like it's okay if one of them kill one or two of us. Yeah, they figure, let them off, shit. They killing, killing them by the numbers more than that on a daily basis. So let them, let them off. This is a publicized case. We're going to let them off. He has some history with law enforcement and this, that, and the other. Whatever the case may be, what I'm saying is we have to make a difference for ourselves off of these tragedies. These tragedies need to bring uprise to where our sons are not able to be put in that position to be labeled as anything, to where these gonna be shot on it. The justice has to come from us. You know, whether it's Panther-esque, whether, whatever the case may be, we have to prepare and unite as a people, man, and I'm, I'm saying that's another thing that they have. Or, you know, I keep saying they, but of course we know on uh, speaking of government, you know, the higher powers that be of America that have done a great job at dismantling our race, at dismantling our nation to where we are so scattered that we don't support each other. You know, I'm, there, there, there's probably some black people that are... are, are happy to say that you know you wearing hoodies and you know you're acting like it though when they saw that the media broadcast all that stuff that negative trash that they was putting out on that good kid they probably was like oh well there it is that's that's why he, that's why he ain't here that's you know that's what happened see but that's no excuse there is no excuse we need to be able to be who we are and not be labeled as an excuse to kill. Labeled as somebody that deserves to get this treatment. Shot point blank in the chest. Because <laughs> you got your ass whooped. And that justifies it. It's justified. So it's saying even if you're taught to defend yourself. And you do that. You teach your sons to defend themselves. And they do that. If they whoop somebody's ass, a white man's ass, or somebody with white blood, enough white blood that they don't look back black, it's probably gonna they're probably gonna get off on that. So what I'm saying is we have to put ourselves in a different air. We have to be in a different light in the darkness that we are, in the darkness that we live in. We come from that darkness. That's why the melanin is in our skin. From that darkness, which is God, that 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 unknown. And that's what we have to be, that God body, that unknown. See, there's two types of Negroes that the world depicts. 
us ass. You either a bootlicker or you a, a rowdy Negro. You an uppity Negro, as I just read in a good book on some that's a whole nother story, but uh Robert vs. Tessico, very great read on racial discrimination, just throw that in. But we have to prepare ourselves and teach our children on on how to handle situate how to handle different situations, how to uplift that like like I said, the bottom line goes down to us coming together as a people. To where we are unified enough to where, you know, we're not touched. Think back on uh, King Haile Selassie wanting us, wanting us uh, to, to get back to Africa. Preparing that the 500 acres, I think it was, whatever, for us to come back. I don't know if we'll ever get back to Africa like that. We need to get back and bring it all together, you know, getting back in that nature. I don't know if in the essence if we all can pick up and get back over there, you know what I mean? They got us so distraught and, and, and pulled apart. It'll be, that's a whole nother level of adjustments that we have to get through to be able to contribute over there. You know what I mean? So we have to unify ourselves here we have to get ourselves to a point here as though we are in africa as though we we've built our nation up which we built this nation so there's no reason that we should not be unified on it but there's a plan that says that we will not be unified on it and what i want us to do is come together and overstand that plan. There is justice. There's justice. There's just us. Remember that, man. And let's be this one God body. Let's unify. Let's come together and uplift to where we are not. These these things are not just pulled over on us, and it's okay. Okay, they gave us a black president and it reintegrated us, you know. We got a whole new integration plan going on. So this is just a slap in the face right here to say, Negroes, just because we gave you a half black president, your ass ain't equal to us and we're going to continue to treat you that way. So until we come together and it's obvious, it's just gleaming off of us that we're unified, that we won't just allow our people to be done in that nature. And it's not on no threatening like we coming up to shoot everybody up. We coming bang, bang. You know, it's just saying we tired of this shit. We ain't going, we not having this no more. You will not continue to treat us like this. And until we do that, man, until we truly know that, until we breathe that, we're going to continue to go through these injustices. It'll continue to happen. And we'll continue to be mad and we'll continue to say, oh, I'm about to tear some shit up. It's going down now. Oh, they done got it going. Well, guess what? There's a plan for that, too. And that's probably what is they're trying to incite. So we got to get bigger than, than what we know, man. We got to get bigger than what we've been taught. Quit doing things just because and quit being just because of what you've been taught. Be just because of what you are. Be because of who you are. And we got to get that in us, man. Doing my part. We doing our part with our family. We want to unify and do that with everybody. That's what our whole business on Getting Power 3000 is, is about. Is the unity, man. Because we have got to do it. We That's the only answer. That's the only answer. I ain't talking about sitting out kumbaya. I'm talking about getting together on our actions. Getting together on our our, 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 the way we do things on our monies, on our 
you know, our society, just our neighborhoods, how we operate, how we do community things, being the village again. We have to be the village in this in which we created. We know how to survive here. We know how to live here. We know how to do it to the fullest. We have to take it back to that spiritual, allow that spiritual, that ancestry to come out that's trying to come out in us. That's why all of this is, is coming about because the time is naturally happening. The time is naturally happening. And a lifeline, it goes like this of civilizations. And it's like this right now. So guess what? The powers that be will try to make it cut off. They didn't, don't nobody want to give relinquish any any power. I'm not saying that you need to give us the people the power to run anything, but you need to leave us the hell alone is what you need to do and allow us to be. Day and age is over, man. I pray that God's vision of what we are to be comes to pass from this. I pray that we don't do the expected. The shit that they got military and police set up for and to, to come out and tear up some stuff so they can have the excuse to kill some more of us. They figure, hey, this bird is like this. It'll give us an excuse to kill some more of them. Man, we got to make a difference. There's got to be something done different, man. I just want to take this time to speak to you. I love y'all all unconditionally. Get empowered. Be the God body. Be that one essence that we are created to be. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens if we do. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.